Hello. So we have a lot to go over and recap uh, in this video. And to be honest, I really didn't know exactly how I wanted to make this video or when I would release it, but normally I kind of just write out a script and edit it and take a bunch of takes. And for this video, I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different considering we're gonna be talking about some deeper topics. And instead of having a script, I just wanted to have kind of this one shot video um, where I just chat, you know, be 100% real with you guys. Not that my other videos are like fake or anything, but I just wanted to sit and just chat with y'all. And if you aren't up to date on the most recent things in AGR and probably don't understand exactly what I'm talking about, I'll mention it in this video, of course, so that you're up to date with all that and you understand what I'm talking about. But I kind of wanted to start this video with a little bit of a timeline. And just for reference, I have a few bullet points on my phone that I'm going to be using throughout this video. Thought I'd let you guys know. But uh, let's give a little bit of a timeline. Uh, back on July 1st, uh, AGR released this statement, they said. Hey guys, we want to be really honest with you about what's going on in our lives right now. For a year now, our dad has been getting sicker and sicker. It's been a horrible, insane, scary, beautiful year, and in that short future, and in the short future, it feels like the timeline with Gary might soon be over. We hope you guys can understand we gotta cancel the upcoming July shows and spend as much time with him as possible. All your tickets will be refunded, of course. Uh, as we wrote the TMM album this past year, the emotions we went through ended up finding their way into the music. So when that comes out, hopefully it will shine more of a light into what we went through. We're all lucky to have had the best dad ever and to have known such a caring, generous, loving human being. Love you guys so much and speak soon. So that was on July 1st. And then just two days later on the 3rd, they released a new single. And when I first saw that, I was ecstatic knowing that, wow, they just randomly dropped this single. Um, but when you listen to the song, you kind of understand why. And it's in regards to their dad and the situation that they wanted to push the song out before it was too late. So when you listen to the context, it's incredibly sad and um, very meaningful and intentional. And um, I'll talk a little bit more about the song soon. Uh, but when they released it, they also released the statement saying, we were gonna wait until the album came out because it felt strange to release a song like this on its own. But after seeing the outpouring love for our dad, we decided this was the right time. We wrote this song when it all started. We all, and we wanted to be as real and true and honest as possible for the people that have been there for us the most. We shot a quick video here in the hospital to go along with it and it's out on YouTube now. Gonna try to get it out to everywhere else soon. This is a our song, God is Really Real. Love you guys. So, as I mentioned, a very emotional song um, about their dad being sick and the emotions that go with that and grief and understanding that. And again, I said I'd talk about the song a little bit more, so I guess I'll just mention it now. Um, but the song itself, um, I couldn't tell if it was being sarcastic or not, or not um, with the, the chorus specifically, because it talks about obviously the title being God is really real. Um, in these situations where you're, you're faced with a lot of life or death, um, how people tend to turn to God in those moments. And when I first listened to that, I kind of thought, oh, it's like sarcastic, like people, why do people do this? But then I was also kind of wondering, maybe it's not, maybe it's like just pointing that out and pointing where they are in life and how they're interpreting, interpreting things. Um, 
So if you have any input on that, definitely comment below. Kind of want to know your opinion. Um, but if you haven't listened to the song yet, absolutely go listen to it. Um, it is very good. It's uh, definitely a kind of like a ballad um, and reminds me of a song like um, Dear Winter kind of vibes. Um, but it's incredible and I personally have not listened to it very much because it is so emotional and it puts me just in a very specific mindset that I can't listen to it a lot and um, But yeah, it's definitely worth a listen definitely go stream it and uh, Hear what they have to say because it's It's real. It's real life stuff. That's what AJR is best at doing is talking about the real stuff. So so they released that song on the 3rd, and later on the same day, they posted um, Rest in Peace Dad. Couldn't have asked for a better number one fan. Which is very, um, just very emotional. Um, glad they got the song out, and just when they were talking about the people's response and love for Gary, that was, very touching. So thank you guys for doing that, being an awesome fan base and supporting them. I'm pretty sure most people have been supportive. I haven't really heard of anyone being negative or not understanding because this is a very human thing. And uh, yeah, it's um, God. It's just so sad. So please be understanding, especially when I'm about to read the next part. Um, they said that on the five days ago, whatever that was, uh, they said, hey guys, this is Steve and Josh from AJR's management team. The guys are taking a break from social media to celebrate their dad's life, but they saw all your messages and read many of them to Gary. God is really real is up on all streaming services. We'll all see you soon. So they're gonna be taking a break. Um, totally understandable. Um, and I hope they take as much time as they need um, when it comes to this album. <laughs> it's not really important when they release it um, and these updates that I do um, are fun but this is kind of a real thing um, so I kind of wanted to talk a little bit more about that song like I said I had my own uh, feelings about it and it is very emotional for me and I love the song I think it's it's definitely up there as far as content wise how good it is and how it's able to make you feel uh, but one important thing that I wanted to mention with it is that a lot of people are pointing out that in the song it references something that actually might be the title of the album TMM so just a little recap for everybody uh, AJR released a long time ago saying that the title is going to be TMM, and it's gonna be three characters, five characters, and three characters. So a lot of people were like, The Music Man, or 10 Meter Men. And in the song, it says the phrase, The Manly Men. Very specifically and intentionally, it, it appears. Um, my assumption is that is completely the title of the album. And with the fact that them releasing this song early, they probably didn't intend to release it until the full album was out, so they didn't want to kind of like leak it, I guess. Um, but they did, and it's it's out there. So I, I'm assuming that's going to be the title. Obviously, this is just speculation, but it seems really intentional in the song, so I would not be surprised if that's the full title, The Manly Men. Which also goes along with the theme of them growing up and getting bigger, in a sense. Um, so I, yeah, that's definitely the number one assumption that I have for the title right now. Um, the last thing that I wanted to mention is something heartwarming, um, something that I, I wasn't really expecting and it made this tough week brighter and kind of just made me realize what AJR is doing and the impact they have on real people. And this happened in my Discord server. So if you're interested in talking more AJR, uh, definitely join the Discord server in the link below. Uh, so one of the members 
Kidron, um, who's an awesome person, super enthusiastic, super emotional, um, said they found something. And I wasn't sure exactly how I was gonna bring this up to you today, but I think I'm gonna bring it up exactly how they did. So they came to the server and they were like, hey, I found this thing. Can we have a video call tomorrow? And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. What did you find? So a whole bunch of people in the server um, joined in the call, which I greatly appreciated. It was super exciting. And Kidron, Kidron says, go to Genius Lyrics and search for TMM. We're like, okay. So I pulled up the browser, search for TMM. Took me a while to find it, but there was this, like a, just a plain black box and underneath it in the title it says TMM and I think it had like a question mark or something in the top corner signifying that it's like not released or whatever. And so I clicked on that and I encourage you to do the same because it shows a potential track list on there. And a lot of them I did know, notice uh, kind of corresponded to something we saw before with the live stream and the titles on that. Uh, so definitely go check it out because when you click on each individual song, it does offer a little bit more information and there are some surprises there that I don't want to spoil because I kind of want to have you have the same experience. But I really wanted to bring that up, not only for the content of that being super exciting and um, just the, the anticipation of the album, but I just wanted to bring it up just to show, um, again, what AGR does. They make super emotional music and songs that we relate to and they build excitement and give some purpose <laughs> to the things we do and some relatability to the things we do. So having that moment with the server, um, having it with the community that is there was just very encouraging and very um, bright. Like I said, it was a little bright ending to my week. So thank you, Kidron, and thank you to everyone who joined in that. Again, if you're interested, there's a link to this the Discord server in the description below. We talk about AJR stuff and updates and share our passions um, for that and other musical things and other games and exciting things. So if you're interested in that, uh, please join. We'd love to have you. But with that being said, uh, I think I think that's everything I really wanted to mention in this video. Um, but there's probably probably a good amount of time uh, before we hear anything from AJR, considering they're not going to be on socials for a little bit, and I really hope they do take the time they need. As far as when the album comes out, like I said, it doesn't really matter. Um, hopefully sometime this year, if not, it's okay. Um, but feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think of the song? Um, what are your interpretation of some of the lyrics? Because there are some really deep really good lyrics in this new song and um yeah i hope to see you on the server but i'll probably be making more videos not necessarily with updates but more ajr related content so definitely stay in stay in touch stay tuned for the next one subscribe if you're um interested in knowing the updates knowing when they come back and everything but thank you guys uh thank you for being understanding with ajr and everything they're they're going through too but See you in the next video. Until then, peace.